Hi, as part of my experiment to see how Excel handles lead management for properties, my wholesaling business, I created this Excel spreadsheet. And I want to walk you through a demonstration on how I would use it. It's very basic. It doesn't have too many bells and whistles, but it can give you an idea of how powerful Excel can be for managing your wholesale leads. So up top is the, the controls. You can add, delete, clear all. You can add a column or delete a column. You can add up to 18 additional uh, custom fields. I already have eight of them set up, and those are over here from units to motivation level. You can remove these, add whatever you want, or keep these, and add, I think, up to 10 more. So now I get a new lead. I'll select Add Property. The Property Lead form will pop up. Add a new lead. It's in New Jersey, 07960, Morris County. The name is John. Gibbons, no company, phone number is 973-2981, john at email.com. His address is the same as the property address. 9960. John has called me, so I want to put a little note. John, he's a one unit place, he's got three bedrooms, two baths, nine total rooms, the condition is fair, house type is a split level, reason for selling is uh, he just wants to move to another school district. And his most motivation level was uh, low. So now I'm all done here. On this form, any field that is not enabled is custom fields that you can add later on. So these are all the custom fields that I've added. So I can fill those in. So we'll hit Create. It'll pop up over here at the bottom. I'll just scroll over here to see information. Now if I made a mistake or I he called back again and wanted to edit. I can come over here to the edit column, click this edit link. The form will pop back up. And it turns out that he's not interested at all. So he can change his status to, to dead and save. Now, one feature is that if the field or the record will change its color or uh, boldness depending on the status. So in this case, he's a dead status, so I grade it out. Now let's say uh, this guy up here, Scott Costello, which would be me, it's a great name. Click on You can change the status to motivated. Now I get highlighted in yellow. The field will get a little larger so it stands out, and it will be bolded so it's, we can see it later on. Now as you scroll down the form, the top level stays. I've frozen this, this line. And let me demonstrate how to delete a record. So if this guy was a mistake, you didn't want to put him in here, or he was in here twice and you didn't notice, you can just select any field on the line, hit delete property, hit yes, and record number four has been deleted. What else you can do is if you want to see the location of the property in a map, I made this address linkable and click. So if you click on it, you'll have Google Maps be displayed with the location of the property. Right there. So let's close this out. And then lastly, let's uh, add a custom field to this. So we'll go over on the end. Let's add a field called date responded. So we'll move back over here, hit add column, date responded, hit OK. Now if we scroll all the way to the right, you can see the field date responded. Make that a little bit bigger. We'll format that text to a date. I like 
the standard date. And now we could, if we edit this field, you'll see this date field is here. It's not wide enough here, but we'll put 3.30.2015. Hit OK. And that'll be supplied. So that's basically what I've done for my Excel property leads manager. It's very basic, but it's a great starting point for anybody who's questioning on how to do it or just having problems getting started. Give you ideas, you can see what I've done and uh, try to copy it or modify it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Send me an email at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.